nature I'll survive Doing what I do best Getting what I want Don't hold back now Passion will lead the way Suffer street Taking every chance Using romance Ambition will be there to guide me Don't get me wrong, I'll do no harm Even though sometimes I'll make a few Mistakes Suffer the street Take the best of me Suffer the streets in my middle name Hard work Deception Hope Love and despair Suffer the street Will take me there Welcome. Oh, it's you again. Is that a problem? No, of course not. We are really glad to have your business. <laughs> I'm sure you do. What are you looking for today, sir? Hmm, let me see. I'll take this bouquet of peonies. You mean this one, sir? Yes, have it delivered as usual. Of course, sir. Would you mind confirming the delivery address, please? Audrey Fair Isles, 352nd North Street. Don't you have a record of it? We do, sir. I just want to make sure that no mistake was made. Would you like to add a message or a card with your bouquet? Hmm. Why not? Thinking of you. Isaac. Your girlfriend is very lucky. It's rare to meet such a romantic guy nowadays. If you say so. That would be $169.99, sir. How would you like to pay, sir? I'll pay by card. Sure. Thank you again for your business, sir. Have a nice day, and please come again. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <sighs> it's on days like this one that I realize how two persons may live in the same city, Breathe the same air, and yet live in two different worlds. I've been struggling to work my whole life just to ensure that I make enough money to reach the end of the month. And there are those people, like that Isaac, I believe his name was, from his message and the name on his card. He spends more money on flowers for his girlfriend than what I earn in an entire month. <laughs> Speaking. Hey, Cheryl. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that I may be a bit late. It looks like I may have some overtime due here. Something unexpected just dropped on me. How late? Are we still meeting or not? If you can't today, it's fine. We can meet another day. I'm not sure. Probably an hour or so. It's up to you. I can wait. Don't worry. I guess I'll order my drink first if you don't mind. Sure. I promise I'll do my best to be there as soon as possible. Don't worry. I understand. But just so you know, you're the one buying tonight. Okay. Gotta go now. Uh, see you tonight. Trouble with your boyfriend, Cheryl? No, he's just a friend. Besides, I don't have a boyfriend. That's because you work too hard! You should learn to take some time off and enjoy that youth of yours. What do you think? Of course I want to have a boyfriend, take some time off, and enjoy life! But I can't. Perhaps I could if you paid me more. 
Not everybody is born in a rich and supporting family. I have to work if I want to have food on my table. There's no time for such frivolities like love and leisure. You're late. I know. That's why I called you, remember? Nobody told you that you shouldn't make a girl wait? Mm, what? Oh, <clears throat> is there a girl around here? Where is she? You're such a jerk sometimes. <laughs> Isn't that why you hang around with me? Anyway, how are you today? Better than you, it seems. Eh, work is a bit crazy lately. There are a lot of changes going on. It looks like I'm going to be reassigned to a new position. Are you getting a promotion? Congratulations! <laughs> That's the thing. I'm not quite sure what it is. It doesn't look like I'm getting demoted. But it doesn't look like I'm getting promoted either. It's a bit confusing. All I understand clearly is that from now on, I'm going to have more work. This does look like a promotion to me. Anyway, what's up with you lately? Nothing much. It's the same routine for me. Work at the flower shop and then helping my mom at the hawker stall. Mm, honestly, between you and me, I'm not sure who's working the hardest. It's in those moments that I feel a bit jealous of couples. It must be good to have a special someone to comfort you all the time. Oh, mysterious boyfriend, where are you? Cheers to us, eternally lone single souls on this earth. Cheers. I like to spend time with Travis. We've been friends since high school. He's very hardworking and always serious. Perhaps too serious in my opinion. He really should learn to let go and have fun sometimes. He's actually quite good-looking, too. Thinking of it, I wonder why he doesn't have a girlfriend. Oh, look at the time already. Well, I really need to go help my mom now. Before she kills me. Sure. I'll talk to you later, then. Tell Trav said hi. I'll take care of the bill. I know. I'm home. <laughs> Did you... See the time? How dare you come home so late and let your mom work alone? She works alone because you're being lazy at home doing nothing, jerk. I'm sorry, Dad. I'll go see her right away. Get moving! If only, if only, I had gotten a son instead of a useless daughter. Perhaps that's why I like to spend so much time at work. I find no rest or peace when I'm at home. I'm off to the stall, Dad. You better bring back more money than yesterday. I'll do my best, Dad. For as far as I remember, my father only speaks of two things. Money and how disappointed he is that I was not born a man. Due to health issues, my father doesn't work anymore. So my mom decided to open a small night hawker stall, fried chicken walk. With this work and my salary, we somehow managed to survive and pay for my father's medical bills. Mom, I'm here. Oh, hi, darling. How are you? Work as usual. Sorry for being late. I'm the one who's sorry to have you work with me. A girl your age should be out dating and having fun rather than frying chicken. I'm really sorry, dear. Mom, I love you. Family always comes first. Besides, I don't have any boyfriend to date. I don't mind working with you. In fact, it's probably one of my happiest moments in the day. Really? Really, Mom. And what about those meetings with Travis? We should get to work. Dad wants us to bring back money. More money than yesterday. Is there anybody working here? Good morning, madame. What can I do for you? Do I look like a madam? Jeez. I'm Anna Elizabeth St. Clair from the Novelist Group. 
But you can just call me Mademoiselle St. Clair. Yes, Mademoiselle St. Clair. Is there anything that can be of assistance to you? I came to make sure that our order was on track for the event tomorrow evening. Yes, Mademoiselle. Your order is almost complete. St. Clair, Mademoiselle St. Clair. <laughs> and what do you mean by almost complete? It's a big order, and to ensure that the flowers are as fresh as possible, it's important for us to... Don't answer that. I don't care. Just make sure it's done on time. It will, Mademoiselle St. Clair. Oh, and you should stay during the duration of the event, too. Excuse me, Mademoiselle St. Clair, but that's not part of our services. I think we have, like, a miscommunication problem here. Do you actually expect me to clear all the flowers after the party? Perhaps we should take our business somewhere else? I demand to talk to your manager! Good morning, Mademoiselle St. Clair. What seems to be the matter? I politely asked your employee to assist us in our event, and she categorically refused, saying that that's not something that you do here. I guess I'll just cancel our order and bring our business to a shop that will be more cooperative. I'm so sorry, Mademoiselle St. Clair. I'm sure it's just a misunderstanding. Of course she'll assist you tomorrow evening, for as long as needed. Good. Is there anything else we can do for you, Mademoiselle St. Clair? Yes. I want her to apologize for wasting my time and giving me misleading information. Cheryl? I'm sincerely sorry, Mademoiselle St. Clair. Please forgive my incompetence. That's more like it. I'll be on my way. Don't be late tomorrow. Who was that Brad? Shh! Not so loud. She could sue you just for uttering those words. Anna Elizabeth St. Clair. Her family owns the Alpine conglomerate. Let's just say that she makes more money in a day than what you'll ever make in your lifetime. Still, that's not right. She shouldn't behave like this. With this kind of money? She decides what is right. How come you know so much about her? Are you a stalker? Very funny. Don't you read the newspapers? Not really. I don't even have a television at home. It was really big news. A couple of years ago, they got into a car accident. She almost died there, and her brother didn't make it. That day, she became the sole heiress of the group Fortune. But... I think I heard her say that she was representing the Novalis group earlier, not Alpine. I don't know about that. Anyway, just remember those are more than clients to us. I will. Sorry about all the troubles. Just make sure that you remain discreet during the event, and all should be fine. Oh, look who's here. Your favorite customer. Good morning, sir. It's a pleasure to see you again. How are you today? Fine, thank you. Do you have anything good for me? This hydrangeas bouquet just came in earlier this morning. They are symbols of unity and togetherness. I'm sure that your girlfriend will love it. I will hold you to your word. I'll take it. I haven't told you the price yet. I didn't ask for it. Just send it to the same address. As usual. Audrey Fair Isles, 352 North Street, right? Yes. That would be $119.99, sir. Here, keep the change. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. I wonder how life would be if I could just go shopping like him, not caring about how much things cost. At least I wouldn't have to bow down like that to some damn spoiled brat like Mademoiselle St. Clair.
My name is Cheryl Darcy, but you can call me Mademoiselle Darcy of the Fried Chicken Walk. <sighs> Even my name doesn't sound right. Damn it. Just thinking about her makes me so mad. Travis. Right, I should call him. He always has the right words in this situation. Travis speaking. I'm so mad right now. What happened? I really need to talk to you. Can we meet? Of course, Cheryl. But I'm afraid I can't right now. Say, how about tonight? Fine with me. I'm so mad. I really need to get drunk. That bad? Look, how about we meet at the old playground? I'll bring some beer over. Sure. I'm so glad to have you in my life. Just talking to you, I feel better already. <laughs> Silly girl. I'll always be here for you. You're really the best friend a girl could ask for. Okay, since you're busy, I won't take any more of your time. See you tonight, my hero! Looks like he hasn't arrived yet. This is where we first met 15 years ago. Why do I remember this like if it was yesterday? I wonder what a beautiful lady such as you is doing all alone in this place. Could it be that you are waiting for your boyfriend? You're so stupid sometimes, Travis. But that's why I like you so much. Cheers to us. Cheers. I hate my life, you know. Today, I met one of the most pretentious customers ever. She came acting almighty and superior. You know, just because you have money doesn't mean that you can do whatever you want. I think just because they can do whatever they want doesn't mean they should. Exactly. I just feel that it's unfair. Why am I not born like them? Why do I have to live my life just to pay for someone else's debts? You know, I never asked for much in life. But even what is normal to others seems out of reach for me. You remember when we first met? It was in this playground. I remember. You were crying after falling down. Yes. My friend Eric just left that day. And I was all alone. You really need to get a girlfriend. Very funny. While all the other kids were laughing, you came up to me and shared your ice cream with me. I'll never forget the word you spoke that day. You see, there are so many sweet things in life that there's no reason to cry. I was just a kid. I didn't know what I was talking about. Pass me another beer, please. Since that day, you have been my friend, and I care very much about you. I care about you, too. Didn't I tell you already that you are the best friend ever? What am I saying? This situation is becoming so embarrassing. Well, I don't want to be your best friend. That's it. I said it. You know, it's not enough for me. I, I want more. I, I want to be able to comfort you when you're sad. I, I want to be your support pillar when you feel weak. I want all of that and more with you. But not just as your friend. Do you understand what I'm trying to say, Cheryl? Cheryl, I... Cheryl? Cheryl? I can't believe it. She fell asleep. Pretend to sleep. Pretend to sleep. I didn't hear anything. It's just the alcohol speaking. In the end, Travis caught a taxi and brought me back home. Pretending to be drunk worked this time, but how am I to face him now? Good afternoon, sir. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a gift for my girlfriend. I see. Then you are in the right place, sir. Flowers are as romantic as it gets. 
Is it for an anniversary or a regular date? We just started dating recently. And I wanted to do something really nice for her. I see. So, something like a first declaration of love? I guess you could say that. What would you recommend? Do you prefer a bouquet or a single flower? I'm not sure. A uh, single red rose? Uh, sounds a bit too cliche for me. If you really want to wow her, a nice bouquet will surely do just fine. Hmm. Yes, I like that idea. Red roses are still a classic, but we can go for something else if you think it's too bold. You're right. I prefer to do something a bit more subtle. Do you have anything in purple? It's her favorite color. Sir, I think you are in luck. I believe I may just have what you are looking for. Look. That's perfect. How much is it? $69.99, sir. I'll take it. By the way, would it be possible to have it delivered? Of course. We do that regularly. Also, I would like to add a message. With all my love, Jason. It's noted, sir. Where would you like to have it delivered? Please have it delivered to Audrey Farrell's 352 North Street. Did you just say Audrey Farrell's 352 North Street? Yes. Why? Is there a problem? No, no problem, sir. Well, thank you for everything. Have a nice day, miss. Have a nice day, too, sir. We hope to see you again. Oh, M, G, what just happened? One girlfriend, two boyfriends. W what should I do? Should I keep it for myself, or should I let them know? It's not like it's any of my business, but still. I should let Mr. Isaac know that his girlfriend is cheating on him. He has the right to know. Next time I see him, I'll have to tell him. I'm sure that's the right thing to do. What do I do? What do I do? Ah, this situation is killing me. I can't face him after the other night. There's no way I could call him after what happened last night. I don't even know how to face him. This is so embarrassing. Right. That's something I will have to deal with on my own. Anyway, there are more pressing matters that need to be attended to. It took us the entire day to finish the order for Miss Better Than You. I've been stressed all day long worrying as to what may have happened if we didn't have things ready on time. But all is good. It seems that I managed to make it to the venue without any major incident. It's going to be fine. Just ignore Miss Better Than You and stay in my corner until the end. Good. Looks like I still have plenty of time left to finish setting up all the flowers. Ah, here you are. I was starting to doubt that you would make it on time. I wouldn't dare, Mademoiselle St. Clair. Okay, well, get to it already. The flowers won't find the way on their own. Chop, chop! I'll get right to it. By the way, what's your name? My name is Cheryl Darcy, but you can call me Mademoiselle Darcy. Hmm, okay. Get to work, Cheryl. I've always heard about these gala events, but it's the first time that I see one from so close. In fact, I never dreamed about attending one in my life. 
obviously, I'm not really a guest here, but still. Seeing all those celebrities and paparazzi, it's like in the movies. And apparently, there seems to be some drama going on too, just like in the movies. I already told you I won't do it! I think you are mistaken if you think we asked for your permission, young man. Be reasonable, dear, and listen to your father. You really don't get it. Now stop this childish behavior of yours. You're embarrassing us in front of the press. This isn't the time or place for this discussion. That's enough! I'm done with you. Maximilian Stewart Lane! Do not turn your back on your parents! Whatever. Is he actually walking towards me? What's your name? Cheryl Darcy. Just play along. Your attention, please. Everybody, I'm glad to have you all tonight as my witnesses. I have a special announcement to make. Cheryl Darcy. Will you marry me?